Monsanto and explain to people that don't know um, uh, the threat that Monsanto brings. Uh, my name is Bob Walter. I'm a native fourth generation Oklahoman. I grew up on a farm down in southwest Oklahoma where we saved our wheat seed, we saved our cotton seed, we saved seed from our gardens, black eyed peas and things like that to use in the following years. And that was always an important aspect of the economics of our farm. I'm president of the Oklahoma Food Cooperative. I'm the founder of the Oscar Romero uh, Catholic Worker House. And in both those organizations, I'm involved with food security and uh, local economic development. Monsanto is one of the worst threats that family farm agriculture faces and that we face both as a public health issue and uh, as a sustainability environmental issue. What do you see happening in this country if GMO foods continue to go unlabeled and we continue to consume them? If we continue to to consume and support them, what's going to happen is what's already happening in other countries around the world. We see 200,000 people, uh, 200,000 farmers out in India committing suicide so far. Uh, I don't want to see that come into the heartlands of the United States. I don't want to see these seeds being forced as the only option because it's what sells and what people buy. That's going to drive all of our producers, all of the farmers, to using those seeds. It's going to lock them into those technology fee contracts with Monsanto. That's what we want to avoid. And we have to stop it at our level. We have to use the boycotts. We have to use the grassroots movements. We can't just trust the government to take care of it for us. At the end of the day, it's our responsibility as informed people. We will get, we will get the agricultural system that we pay for. And the reason that we have an agricultural system right now that pollutes the planet, that tortures animals as a matter of corporate policy, and, and is increasingly based on GMOs, which are a risky proposition. Uh, there's lots of scientific evidence starting to pile up of the problems that, are, that may be directed uh, the result of GMOs, you know, that's what we've been paying for by going into the store and just spending our money as though it didn't matter what we buy. But what, what you do matters. What you do as an individual, how you spend your money matters. It matters to you. It matters to your community. It matters to the people that love you. It matters to the people that you love. It matters to the planet. And it matters to the future. So don't let anyone tell you that you're just some powerless peon who has no power to change the future because you do. Every person here right now is a revolution. Every person